Sound is everywhere. In this video, I'm going to show you how sound works. Let's start by taking a look at a guitar string. When we pluck this string, we hear a sound. If you play guitar, you'll recognize this sound as the note E. But how come we can hear it? On screen is what the guitar string looks like, up close and slowed down. When the guitar string is pulled and released, it vibrates up and down hundreds of times a second. It's these vibrations that travel through the air and into your ear, which you perceive as a sound. So that's all sound is, traveling vibrations that can be heard when they breach a person or an animal's ear. Sound can travel through a medium other than air too. For example, if you've ever placed your ear against a table and knocked on it, you'll have noticed that sound can also travel through a solid to reach your ear. For the moment, let's take a deeper look at how sound moves. I said a few seconds ago that sound vibrations travel through the air, but how does this happen? Here is a speaker. To make a sound, the speaker vibrates a cone similar to our guitar string from earlier. Between the speaker and the listener, there are billions of gas molecules. The sound vibrations cause these molecules to move. Your inner ear then picks up on these vibrations, which you perceive as a sound. Sound vibrations move in waves, just like the waves on a pond. And just like the waves on a pond, sound waves travel outwards from a source in all directions. Let's take a look at a graph of one of these waves. If I play the sound this graph represents, it has a certain pitch. But what happens when I change this graph? You'll notice it sounds different. In fact, every time I make the waves closer together or further apart, the pitch will change. This is called frequency. The higher the frequency of a sound wave, the higher its pitch will be. You might be wondering about what the number at the top of the screen represents. This number describes how many cycles per second the sound wave goes through. On the graph, this is how many times the wave will go up and down in a second. The unit for cycles per second is called the Hertz. It's named after Heinrich Hertz, a famous scientist who set up experiments to investigate frequency. There's so much more to learn about sound, and we have only just scratched the surface. Looking back, we have covered that sound is made up of the vibration of molecules, that sound is created from a vibrating object, like a cone in a speaker. We also learned that sound travels in a wave in every direction. Finally, we looked at how frequency is related to the pitch of a sound. I hope you have enjoyed learning a bit more about how sound works, and thank you for listening. 